It's just an ordinary afternoon on a workday, but people were already lining up outside this popular pastry brand at the shopping mall in Shanghai's downtown Jing'an district. It's just one of some 400 brands in the new shopping center, which was just opened at the end of last November. This is Lifestyle China Group's second retail landmark in Shanghai, 17 years after opening its first project here. The new upgrades and changes are proof of Chinese consumers' evolving appetite for offline retail during the past two decades. Jing'an District has rich commercial resources, and we want to fill in the blank of high-end consumption in northern Shanghai. There are many big international brands as well as individual designer brands that have emerged locally, and consumers have become more mature. People want more in their shopping experience, some fun. 80 percent of the brands at the shopping mall are making their first appearance in Shanghai's dining area. Almost a quarter of the shops there are catering brands, reflecting the CBRE report. It shows that catering retains its status as main driving retail force, accounting for 35 percent of total consumer demand. An interesting thing about the newly opened shopping centers in China now is that the majority of them have an outdoor space like this. And experts say that as customers demand more from offline retail, pleasant areas like this will become a new norm, and you can expect more to come. Social media and the online economy today are very, very strong. There's no doubt about that. But no matter how good of a job those platforms are doing, and no matter how convenient they're making the life of everybody, they cannot answer the need for human connection and interaction. The retail market—they actually answer a basic human need. So it will always be able to answer a type of everyday life need and thrive that maybe other types of properties will not be able to answer. Thompson notes that in the future, new retail property models like smaller community malls will also gain more popularity to meet just that demand. CBRE also says Shanghai leads the country in its thriving first store economy, which was accelerated by the COVID-19 outbreak. The brands, as they cannot count on the Chinese consumers to come abroad to discover their new projects,、uh, their new products,、um, or their new offerings, they have to make the effort to come here in China. And more often than not, they have to take the extra step in making it happen here first before making it happen somewhere else. China is becoming, from a retail perspective, the laboratory, the place to discover, create, and try new things. According to CBRE, last year the vacancy rate of Shanghai's retail property was down 0.6 percentage points from a year earlier, to just 6.7 percent.